Thank you, Mr. President. I appreciate being recognized to speak on this very important amendment. This amendment would restore funds to the libraries which were cut. The libraries are needed now more than ever before. People who are looking for resumes, need computers, and don't have them themselves are going to the libraries. All you have to do is talk to the librarians in your community. They will tell you that they are being used and the demand on their services and for their services is increasing tenfold. These people provide an absolute necessity for children of very young ages, children of all ages, senior citizens, young parents. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are. Uh, they use the libraries. All of us go down on Library Day. We have our pictures taken. We take those nice posters that they give us that say read, and they take a picture with you with a book in your hand, and it's posted in your local libraries, and you're all very proud of that. It's time now we pay them back. It's time now that we put the money back in the budget for those libraries and that they be restored to full funding. They need the money. They provide a good quality of life for our communities, and they're absolutely necessary for, the, for our communities. The other part of this very important amendment, and I thank my colleague Senator Flanagan for bringing it forward, uh, is to restore aid to, for mandated services for non-public schools. These schools are under stress. Many of them are being forced to close their doors. This is not a good thing. Those students who are going to the non-public schools of all denominations and all types, doesn't matter, who are going to those schools are going to end up in the public schools. That's not a bad thing, but the point is that will increase the demand on the public schools and they'll be forced to pass that on to the property taxpayers. This is not a good thing. So those people who choose to keep their children in non-public schools should be given every assistance to do that. We mandate the functions that they perform in many cases. We, as Senator Salan said, should help and pay the bill for the services that we mandate upon them and that we put upon them. This is an important amendment, uh, as this is an important amendment, and I urge everyone to vote aye on this and do the right thing for libraries and non-public schools and the taxpayers of our state.